Welcome to Tennessee, friends. We're going to be playing the Battle of Chickamauga near Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Absolutely a fascinating fight. And we are going to go with the Confederacy. The Confederacy did historically win this battle, so we've got no excuse but to come out with a victory. Let's do it, boys. Welcome to Chickamauga, friends. I'd like to take this time to ask you to please hit that like button on your video screen. Also, drop a comment down below. Specifically, I want to know, during this time, what side would you have fought with and why? I really do want to get your answer on that, folks, um, so that we can, of course, uh, kind of see where you guys are. Now, keep in mind also that these videos do take a while to make, and unfortunately, since we're a wargaming channel, uh, YouTube doesn't always prioritize us for views. Uh, that being said, I would ask that you guys please go ahead and subscribe if you're new. With that out of the way, folks, let's advance here on the Union lines. We are going right over here to take the Union line this way, but there's also a Union force at Lee and Gordon Mills. So I might actually separate Leonidas Polk here, uh, one of our better known Confederates, and I'm actually going to send him on that trajectory right there. We've also got some reinforcements over here. Well, hard to call them reinforcements, but essentially Armstrong's men. And we're going to move Armstrong's men down this way, right north of Jay's Mill. I'm also going to take the unit over here, which is going to be uh, Jeb Hood. And we're going to send Jeb Hood forward. But as you can see, what we're doing is trying to cut through over here and break through the south to take the rest of these areas. It's definitely going to be quite important as we approach here. Well, as always, guys, we will return when the fighting begins. I hope it's a good one. And look at that. We've got our first engagement already. It's going to be just a standard cavalry unit over here trying to guard Reed's Bridge. It's going to be our infantry unit that will make contact with them first. But we've got plenty of rebels on the way willing to fight and die for the south. So let's just engage the cav here. Hopefully that's all the enemy really has at the moment. I'm just kind of looking across the map. I am seeing some additional units over here from the enemy, so they might make contact with us before we actually get to the fight. In fact, I am going to start engaging with artillery. Let's fire, and we're going to bring our infantry to bear. I'm hoping that in this cornfield, or this wheat field anyway, it's going to be a lot harder to spot our boys. Come on now. On the double quick step. Double quick. All right, I need to know this. Why is the Confederacy playing the battle cry of freedom? <laughs> Unless there's a Confederate version of it. All right, boys, I'm gonna back up here a bit. It looks like our cannons are beginning to fire, but are we making contact over here with Fulton? I think we are. Here we go, boys. Fulton, fire! Open fire, boys. This is your chance. And this almost looks like rebel winter wear here that, they're, that they've got on. Some long coats and great coats. Come on, come on. We've got more infantry approaching, but let's try to make it, make it happen with just these guys here. Come on, Johnson's Brigade. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And they are in range, although just barely. I might go ahead and just open up with the artillery to increase our chances of a win here. They're definitely out shooting us at the moment. Our men are just taking such a long time to reload. There we go. Come on, Johnson. We've got plenty of our own artillery arriving there, guys, from the north, so I'm really going to try to make that happen. And look at this. It looks like Lightning and Bale, this is the enemy uh, cavalry units, are about to make contact with our infantry. Let's make it a bloody one, shall we? I love that. Look at the supporting units. Just a massive group here under Brigadier General Archibald Gracie. But we got to, of course, get him up to the action. He's going to engage before he actually goes into those woods. I mean, 
mean, for a cavalry unit, they're doing quite well. Come on now. Come on, Greasy. He's gonna pull back. I think he's gonna pull back. They absolutely decimated this unit right here. I'm just amazed by that, honestly. Come on, get into position. They've got those damn repeating carbines, and that's obviously gonna be a problem. Hopefully we can get one infantry unit to start firing on them. Come on, boys. Come on. Hit lightning brigade. Hit them with all you've got. Alright, here we go. We're just repositioning these guys. Reposition, reposition. And let them have it. Even at this distance, we can hit them, so they've improved the range a little bit. Come on, boys. Let them have it. They're trying to take out your friends. Not the greatest setup, but I'm going to make it work. I'm going to make it work, guys. We can't focus on just one part of this battlefield, though. we got to focus on multiple ones. And look at that over at Lee and Gordon Mills. A bit more than we bargained for. I'm actually going to take Polk. Well, Polk is heading over here, I believe. But just to be certain, yeah, let's make sure Polk heads this way. This is where most of the enemy forces are going to be. We thought we'd go forward this way, but that's just not going to be the case. There's just too much going on. Let's take a look over here where Fulton is. And look at that. The, the cavalry is arriving, or has arrived. Let's let John B. Scott look at that mean some bitch right there. And he's just going to go ahead and help us take out the Union soldiers. We could go for a charge. It's probably not a bad idea. But for now, I'm just going to kind of move up a bit. Break them at the bridge, boys. Break them at the bridge. In fact, we can start firing with the arty here, too. Take a look here at the federal perspective to see if we can actually spot any of their units breaking through or trying to come to assist them. But it doesn't look like it. It really doesn't. Alright, we're going to make John C. Scott... John S. Scott. John C. Scott's already an American hero. Um, I was going to say we're going to charge them, but now that they've broken our infantry, I'm just going to continue firing. With first Brigade on First Brigade. There we go. Back up just a bit. And take a look at how we're doing against Lightning Brigade. This is just a massive battle. Chickamauga is an absolute bloodbath in the south for both sides. And there's no difference here. Give it to them, boys. Look at this. We've got two different units firing. But Lightning Brigade is incredible. These guys are excellent. I wish they were fighting for us. Look at him drop. And nearly 2,000 men in Lightning Brigade. No wonder it was so effective. We've got to keep taking out those numbers. Keep knocking them down. Knocking them down to size. Otherwise, they will overwhelm us. 2,431. That's the entire army of the Cumberland. Never mind. I thought that was a bit weird. Come on, boys. The advance is going beautifully. I think they're going to go for their, uh, get on their horses pretty soon here. Can we fire? Fire on Lightning Brigade. There we go. Everybody's going to target them at this point. There we go. Getting a nice volley. What about an even nicer volley up close and personal?
and there we go lightning brigade finally taking off it took long enough and now we're going to go and micromanage that force again i did see cannons on that side um so let's take preston this is preston's force just one of our confederate forces we have available here we're also going to take liddell this is an artillery master uh, and i'm actually let me change that i'm going to move liddell up here to the alexander ford the rest of the boys will follow. In fact, we could even take Buckner Sr. and send him over here to help Leonidas Polk. Uh, that might be something we consider as we proceed. But right now, we're sending most of our army to face the enemy here over at Lee and Gordon Mills. We're going to have to cross a pretty nasty bit of water here um, to be able to make it to them. Let's just hope they don't try to stop us. Uh, because they certainly could with their forces, I think. Just so many men moving into place. I love the movement of these armies in this game, how you can control each and every aspect. That's great. And look at that. Our boys have broken through that um, that enemy that enemy unit there. And what I'm going to take is take John Pegram here. I'm going to try to just send him right on through so that we're overwatching the enemy. We can pretty much just take a look and do what we want. Then I'll move north. I'll sort of swing north, if that makes sense. Come on, Pegram. Let's take John B. Hood, a personal hero here. Move him forward to engage Alexander. All right, guys, this is our first contact at Lee and Gordon Mills. Um, like I said, I don't want to send these guys out into open combat if we can help it. But we're going to have to cross. So I will go ahead, order the crossing, and prepare to repel borders. <laughs> um, I think it's going to be a rough one for sure. We're going to break out, guys. The Confederacy shall have victory on this day. Although I am beginning to think that maybe we should uh, think of a different approach. <laughs> that might not be such a bad idea. Yeah, let's let's just stop here, and then we'll make a decision. So we're just going to move our boys over there, and then we're going to decide whether or not we want to actually push forward. As for right now, I want to continue taking these areas. So we're going to push this army through to the other side. Hopefully these two guys can meet up. And eventually, this unit here, under Armstrong, will tackle Reed's Bridge. He's going to be entirely responsible there for the Reed's Bridge situation. All right, folks. As always, we'll return when the action commences once again. I like to think that we're off to a good start, although I think the enemy's got an excellent defense set up. We need to think about how to tackle this. Now, in our movement, guys, to get to that location there at Lee and Gordon Mills, D-Sharp and another infantry unit have crossed the river where I didn't want them to. This is some of the pathfinding issues that could be fixed in the game. Um, but what I'm going to do is actually go ahead and keep the fight going. Uh, start engaging these skirmishers. I don't want to move up that much. Nope that maybe um start engaging these skirmishers and just make sure that the enemy doesn't try to attack our army on the other side of the river um just yet and we'll also start firing with this artillery i'm gonna push the artillery right there like really close to the enemy although i don't want to just start engaging and just to show you what we're doing over here we're taking buckner senior we're pushing him through over here instead of going all the way around and we're continuing forward with these guys right here in fact we want to get a close look because i believe that we are going to be seeing the enemy artillery soon yeah it's going to be right on the other side of the bridge and i am going to try to engage not the prettiest setup but i think our guys get the idea we can also begin to engage with our artillery Let's get it going, folks. Let's see how we do. Just so many fights happening on so many sides here uh, at Chickamauga. Come on, boys. Fire! Come on, we need you to move faster, men. We need you to move much faster that we might even have an engagement on this side of the river indeed we are engaging buell's detachment here so it's actually not a bad setup come on boys prepare to fire i don't know if we're going to make an attempt to cross the river i think that would be foolhardy but we will put up a fight right here with our existing men hell yeah some approaching infantry as well to help here manigault's brigade and i'm gonna put manigault's brigade just like this 
Okay, tremendous artillery fire from the enemy. I guess I should have expected that. And let's open up with our own 12-pounders here. I'm gonna grab this infantry unit and put him right here. Man, devastating fire. Good work, boys. We are just turning this place into Smoke City. And in fact, Manigold can go ahead and engage right here. Move up, son. Unbelievable. Just withering fire from our men. They're not giving up, boys. Looks like the 12-pounders are being set up here. But actually, they're engaging the enemy over here. Manigold getting into position. Come on. Let's back up just a little bit here. I want to see the rest of the battlefield. Still approaching on this side, I think we'll be able to take the Alexander Farm without much of a fight, and maybe even Reed's Bridge and Jay's Mill. There's so many different victory locations on this on this battlefield. Hell yeah, boys. Manigault will be back. We just don't want to change his order, because that could affect the moves of the entire army. I'm not really trying to make that happen. Double quick for our movement, and we're still holding the position here on this side of the bridge. Quite amazing to me. Let's back up just a bit. I'm also noticing, I'm not sure if you guys are, that some of the bodies disappeared there. That's not, not cool, not cool. Although Jeb Hood's force is moving down beautifully, we're going to be on the Alexander Bridge in no time. Go, boys. Go for it. We're moving down from the north. We're going to order a fallback from Gordon Mills. We'll be back. We will be back, but crossing this area river is a bit too dangerous. Sort of expected that. I'm going to put this infantry over here as well. Still want to keep on firing, obviously, with our artillery. Just try to weaken the enemy force here a bit. that some of their artillery, or excuse me, their cavalry is getting close here. You know what? We'll engage where we can. If we spot them, we will fire. But I really just want to get these guys back into position. Come on, Manigault. You're supposed to go over anyway. Engage, engage, engage. Good shot there. Beautiful shot by the artillery. Manigault is going for blood here. It's going to set him up at the bottom of this uh, landmass here. We're at least, we're kind of out of the water, not really. Uh, and keep on firing here on these skirmishers. We're going to set up that artillery to fire as well. That artillery support is really going to help against these detachments. These are, of course, detachments of larger uh, units, 
And actually, we just broke some Union boys over here. Come on, boys. I love it. I love it. Keep it going. More artillery. Fire! Manigault is getting some excellent shots. We can see a lot of blue bellies right there. They are definitely getting hit, although their artillery here is causing us some problems, I'm not going to lie. That being said, we got Pegram, we've got JB Hood on the job here. In fact, I'm going to push on through with Armstrong. And I have no doubt we're going to encounter some enemies at Reed's Bridge, but we're just going to keep fighting. Fire at the closest unit. Get those damn horses out of the way, man. Yeah, our guys are about to break this infantry unit here. Manigold, you can only hold on for so long um, on the other side of a river, let's be honest. We need to have the initiative, and here we don't. I think our only chance is to swing from the north and hit them this way from Coast Spring. There we go. They've broken Manigault. We're not going to make any charges across that river anymore today. We're just going to keep the fire going with the artillery. If they approach, we can always advance with our infantry. All right, and the rest of the battle continues. There's still a lot of land to take. But as you can see over here and over here, I think we're about to grab Jay's Mill and the Alexander Farm. At that point, we can kind of start to reposition ourselves for an attack behind the enemy. Uh, let's also see what time it is. 1616. So it's about 416. It could definitely get dark um, very soon here. I'm not sure if it's going to be 6 p.m., 7 p.m., and 8 p.m., um, but it could get dark very soon without a shadow of a doubt. So taking these locations, it's going to help us a lot on the upcoming day. We definitely want to get across the river. I think that right now is my main goal in this battle, get across the river. Shotguns! That's the first time I've seen that. We've actually got some shotguns here. Alright, let's do a charge. And over here, our, our other cavalry just have standard Lee Enfields. Get into, get into the line of sight. There we go. Fire. I think our men could already start engaging, or very soon anyway. Fire. Look at that, our shotguns are getting into range. I really want to see these things in action. But it looks like our men would rather charge. Fair enough. Let them, let them do their thing. Alright, the Reed's Bridge area is lost. That's okay because the Reed's Bridge area is what we're taking right now. rid of the dam. Come on now. There we go. Since we have that attack going, I might just push through. Yeah, let's do it. We'll do another charge with our second cavalry unit. So really assist our boys in taking that area. And look at that. The Alexander Farm. I think it's ours, guys. I really do. We're, of course, trying to move the rest of our force over here to the vineyard. In fact... Make sure Preston's force is doing just that. 
This is just in case we have some defenders waiting for us. Although I don't think we do. That's going to be our area for sure. And are we pushing through okay here with the charge? Yes, we are. Second unit is joining that charge, actually. And I can already see the first brigade units wavering here. That's exactly what we want. <clears throat> Sabers at the ready. This charge animation has to be fixed, of course. Glorious. Just glorious, boys. All right, just reposition here, please. That's quite sufficient. We do appreciate it. Move you here. All right, folks. Now I'm just going to go ahead and take that commander. Oh, it's Nathan Forrest. Uh, Nathan Bedford Forrest. This is definitely one of those guys that is considered a bad guy <laughs> uh, in, for the most part um, in the Civil War here. So here we go. We're pushing through with J.B. Hood. I don't know why we haven't taken that area yet. It's a little strange. Um, but nonetheless, we do have units moving over here. I just want to take that before nightfall. That, to me, is the most important part of this. Taking it before nightfall. moving all these uh, smaller commanders separately, as you can see, just because I want to make sure um, that we don't move the entire army when we order an order, when we make a move order, pretty much. See, this bridge should be ours. I don't understand what's going on. Yeah, our guys are going to move into position soon, but that really should be ours. I'm not sure why it's not switched over yet. Oh, do we have some enemies causing some problems here? We do. So we still have those skirmishers or those detachments engaging us. Let's just move one infantry unit here and see if we can't return fire. So we'll put our guys, like, right... No, that's terrible. Yeah, that'll have to do. They'll reorganize once they get there. But I think this way we could at least return fire to some of these detachments. Though those 12-pounders hurt. I can tell you that. Look at that. Boom! Watch your heads, boys. So at least the Reed Bridge is undoubtedly ours. There's no doubts that that's going to be our location. It's the rest of our army that's taking a little longer to move, and I guess that makes sense with such a large army. Here we go. There we go. We've taken the Alexander Farm. I feel a little bit safer. Certainly feel that we could continue the fighting tomorrow. You know what, now that Sharp is in position, let's see if we can um, set him up in a somewhat more effective way. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. He's still not got a visual, though, on the enemy. But hopefully he will acquire it. Now he's got a visual on the enemy. Nice. We're just not going to let them get this close without some return fire. Hit those Federals, boys. There we go. We've got a nice volley there. Knock him down. At this distance, I don't know how effective we're going to be against them, but like I said, we're showing them that we're not going to give up the fight that easily. Oh, look at that. Our whole army moving through, guys. The rebel army on the move. I love it. We've got so many other areas to take, but if we could just get across the river, I feel like tomorrow morning we're going to have a lot of fun. We are just peppering the enemy with Arden.
Oh, yeah. We moved through to Jay's Mill, guys. It is officially ours. I just love this. So we're, of course, converging on this area. Converging over here at Park Fedford and the Log School. I don't know if we're going to have time today to swing south and hit them. I hope we do. It just seems like such a massive move. Uh, such a massive move order that it could take some time. We have to make sure that Leonidas Polk sort of controls this army separately and really let Braxton Bragg deal with these guys over here on the east side. I just think it's very important for us to at least defend this area to stop the enemy from flanking us. And this seems to be enough men to get that job done. Boys, a little more in, in front of the enemy so we can actually get a proper shot. And look at this. We have some Union guys coming back. Our, oh, look at that. Our guys opened up on them immediately. It might be the same detachment. No, it's a new one. It's Buell's detachment. I hope we can cover them at this distance. If I get right there, we should be able to hit them. Gonna try to hit us across a river, Blue Belly. Well, we have infield rifle muskets here. And damn good aim. There we go. Nice! Watch him drop. Watch him drop. We're gonna bring up the support here. We got these guys. No, 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 no. Just, just shoot from here. I know it's not ideal, but make it happen. See, now our guys will still shoot from an unreasonable distance, which is good. Before, they would not shoot until we got right up close and personal. But that's just gonna be reduced damage because we're at such distance. Of course, if we start fighting tomorrow, we're going to have to come down from the north. That's pretty obvious. Just basically jump down from the north here on top of the enemy. Let's get Preston. Got that location. I'm going to take Jeb Hood. JB Hood, rather. Um, move him here. Again, just getting closer to some of these more important locations. And let's take Armstrong and push him down the Robertson Road. I think, actually, Armstrong has a separate command from Nathaniel Bedford Forrest. So just to be absolutely certain of that, yeah, actually, Nathan Bedford Forrest has senior seniority. I'm going to go over here. What is Minty doing? What are you doing, Minty? Oh, okay, never mind. He's retreating is what he's doing. Look at all of the men Minty has lost along the way. I don't know how he's bled so many men, guys. Your guess is as good as mine. Good work, boys. Give him hell. Again, Anderson's Brigade not in the prettiest situation here. Um, but we need to keep the fire going. And actually, the enemy is running low on ammunition. That's how crazy this gunfight has been. absolutely smash Buell's detachment. This is what we have to do to any enemy unit getting close uh, to our lines here. And it, especially across a river like this, this makes it much easier. Let's see. Alright, as you can see, the whole army mo is moving into position. But it will take a little while, boys. This is not going to be a quick move by any stretch of the imagination. see that the sun is starting to go down for sure. That's that's definitely the case here. Now we're going for a minor victory so far, but as you can, I mean, you know, obviously there's still so much left of the battle to fight here, um, but we're doing okay. We're also starting to do a lot more damage to the enemy here, and look at this, we've even set the mill on fire. I've never seen that happen, so now we know there are going to be fire effects for buildings. That's really cool to know, actually. Um, and we're just fighting those detachments pretty much. I've been fighting them the whole damn day. Good shot. Also, 
got our first detachment here. Let's deal with that. Last thing we need our enemy detachments getting too close to our front lines. I don't like it. I'm not going to accept it. Almost into range, although we're going to get a bit closer with Jackson. Just to make sure we really put the hurt on the enemy. So he could fire now, but we're going to get even closer. They're all in the water here, which is going to give us a huge advantage. Fire away. Oh, they are lining up. Damn you, blue bellies. Look at that. Oh my goodness, you guys saw it here first. The actual house being hit, they're almost falling apart. And we've opened up. It's a flank shot too, so Harker's gonna take some extra hits. I love it, boys. I love it. The South is victorious again. Right, you're correct. I'm moving up some more infantry. I want to just maximize our firepower. That's one way to do it. There we go, man. Anderson's brigade is holding the line. But wait a minute. Anderson... Oh, it's Jacob B. Sharp. Hey, Jacob H. Sharp. I was going to say, if it was Anderson himself, he should absolutely appear in the portrait. Help out your friends, Stroud. Today is the South's day. Let's make sure of it. These Yankees shall not trespass on our lands again. Oh my goodness, that was effective artillery fire. Man, let's keep it going. That's going to be nice. Very close here with Strahl as well. So it should be a devastating shot. Especially with as many men as we've got in Strahl's unit here. It looks like the Union has separated essentially their best shooters and sent them into these detachments. Pretty much their best men. I'll take it, man. I'll take it for all we can get. We've already totally broken that detachment there. Hopefully we'll break these guys in front of us before the end of the day. is a beautiful sight. I don't think we're going to have to deal with those detachments in the morning. I certainly hope not. We, well, we've got the first day at least, and there we go. The detachment is broken. I want to make sure our boys don't follow, so I'm going to actually make them fall back there. But we're doing good for day one. I would have loved to be on the other side of the river here, but we're already on the other side of the river. So just holding our position here is fine. It's sufficient. We don't have to push it. Come on now. Keep that artillery fire going. Oh, yes. And Anderson's brigade also getting shots off here. I think the detachment is about to break. 124, 209 left. 
Those are some brave Federals. I'll give them that. Why is Straw in the water when I told him to get out, damn it? Damn you, Straw. You're gonna have to support with Jackson now for sure. There we go, guys. We've broken another one of their detachments. Now, admittedly, that one was very low on ammunition. Let's just hope that Cruft's detachment is just as easy to break. See, they're creating another detachment here under Barnes. We are knocking them down little by little. Look at that. Beautiful shot there with the artillery and a nice volley, too. I think we're going to break this detachment quickly as well. Cruft is going to fall. You are gonna fall, Mr. Cruft. We shall not play around with you. In fact, I'm gonna move this guy right across. Straw's already in hell, so let's push him further into hell. And we'll have Jackson hold the line here in the north. got two units on this particular task although i hate the fact that they're in the water so the sooner they get out the better just let them have it jackson break them before morning boys break them before morning don't let crufts get a second breath Now we've got really maximum infantry power here on this side of the bridge, at least. I'm just going to use it and try and crush those units right there. We might even reposition to this side. Who knows? Oh, that is such a nice volley. I love that. combat going on across these bridges. I think it's it's quite amazing to see. Let me take a look here at Forest. We're going to take Forest and just take that position now. Just move right on top of it. I do see Minty hanging out here by the log school, but I'm not seeing a large Union force yet. So hopefully it remains that way. get Straw out of harm's way, but if he wants to take a shot at the enemy, more power to him. I just think one or two more volleys is going to break rough. is an indecisive fight, but it is leaning heavily in our direction, and I think I know why. I mean, 
definitely managed to take quite a few victory points. We've done a lot of damage to the enemy just across the river here. In fact, even just our artillery alone, I'm guessing is going to be complemented with at least a thousand casualties um, at the end of this battle. They're just supporting us so much, uh, hitting all of these units on the other side of the river. And I think most of the fighting has gone on here. It hasn't been close combat like a lot of our other fights. This has been a ranged fight the whole way through. That, of course, brings its own challenges, etc., but I think it's, it's going well. We shouldn't have tried to cross, that's for sure, but now we're doing okay. just to get an additional additional infantry unit there on the line. And again, I would love to just swing south now. We've got to take the log school area. What I could do, though, take Buckner, and we're just going to separate him here. We're still going to send some units through to the log school, but this could assist us in beginning the fight a lot sooner, which I think would be great. Braxton Bragg's back here just watching, just watching his forces. Where a commander should be, well be, well behind the lines. We need him to be alive. There we go. Good work, boys. We've broken Cruft. That's what I'm talking about. Look at all those Yankees. Unfortunately, it looks like Jackson's brigade is about to break. Um, and that doesn't make sense because they've only had 177 casualties out of 1,134 1, men. Yeah, that's 1 in 10. That's not nearly bad enough for them to be panicking. But I am going to fall back with them. And I'm going to do the same here because I don't want to push through here with this unit. And we're just going to keep this unit over here to watch for any enemies getting into this region. If they show up here, we've got a perfect volley. Come on, take that location now, boys. I believe the town of Brotherton, well, it's not really a town, more like a hamlet will be uh, taken here in a second. There we go. And that, man, that means we could take uh, Nathan Bedford Forrest and have him assist us over here against Billy Yank. Beautiful. Look at that. Our guys are getting into position. A bit late, though, to be getting into position, I think. I'm not sure if we're going to get a chance to actually open fire. But this is exactly what we need to hold the enemy here, anchor them, and then send these guys in with the hammer to just beat them up. We can't come into the south and expect not to have a major fight. All right, here we go. Yep, I'm going to actually start engaging. Why not? We'll send Archibald Gracie through. Start getting our artillery set up, too. Let's make it work, Fossil, boys. Also get into that uh, cornfield or wheat field, whatever the hell it is. Go for it, boys. Go for it, rebels. Oh, yeah. And there we go. Troops resupplied, folks. And we need to deploy our units. So this is, of course, going to be the next day's fight. And this game doesn't have a save, save feature, so uh, I'm serious. If you guys want to see this, <laughs> make sure to hit that like button, drop a comment down below, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Um, because I'm, I'm going to try to get this video out very, very soon. Now, I want to set our boys up. And like I said, I have a pretty good idea of what I want to do here with Buckner. Um, yeah, this is a, pretty much as good as we can get. And even that, I don't want to have the infantry like that. There we go. That's a little better. Um, the rest of our forces are just going to have to kind of make do. 
and with Jeb Hood or JB Hood. I keep calling him Jeb Hood. Just want to see how close we can get with him. Okay, we're going to keep him as like sort of a supporting force here. Um, we will send them into battle, but they're just going to be a little late into battle. Why can't I get it perfectly? There we go. It's not going to look nice, but we'll we'll fix that eventually. Um, yep, yeah, something like that is what I'm looking for. Really, just to push the enemy here, you know, close all these enemy, cl uh, close all these units on top of the enemy. There we go, um, and just sort of shut them into a massive rat trap. Which is perfect for all these Yankees, of course. Get this fella here. Got even extra forces to fight. And the only unit I'm missing is this one, but we're going to let them actually take that location. And we shall begin the fight in the morning. Thank you so much for watching, guys. You know what you got to do. I really do appreciate all the support, but without your comments, without your likes and subscriptions, this channel just isn't going to make it. I'll be absolutely honest with you. Thank you again.